Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Swanna Mams Biology. So in this video, let us discuss the most important PYQs from the lesson Biological Classification and from the topic Kingdom Monera. So before answering these questions, just we will briefly summarize what we have learned from the topic Kingdom Monera. So we know the kingdom monera includes bacteria, that is eubacteria, archaebacteria as well as mycoplasma. So, so bacteria are the most abundant microorganisms which are the sole members of the kingdom monera and there are different uh, shapes of the bacteria. They are spherical which is called as coccus, the dish raw shaped bacteria is called as bacillus, karma shaped bacteria is called as vibrium and spiral shaped bacteria is called as spirillum. And the other type of the Organisms are archaebacteria which live in the harsh habitats. It is mainly because of the presence of the cell wall structure of these archaebacteria. Some are halophiles, some are dermoacidophiles and some are methanogens. So this um, uh, cell wall structure of these archaebacteria help these bacteria to live in the extreme habitats. So coming to the eubacteria, the eubacteria is characterized by the presence of the rigid cell wall and in some cases if they are motile they contain what is called as flagellum and coming to the example of the eubacteria that is cyanobacteria which is called as blue green algae which is unicellular freshwater as well as marine and these cyanobacteria are photosynthetic in nature mm -hmm. so with the uh, in the presence of the oxygen uh, in, in the presence of the oxygen, they are even able to fix the atmospheric nitrogen with the help of the nitrogenase enzyme. And these cyanobacteria will be surrounded by what is called as gelatinous sheath. sheath. And some of the cyanobacteria are, are even heterotrophs in nature. I mean, some are autotrophs and some are heterotrophs. And these form what are called as heterosis. Okay. So, um, and some of the other type of the bacteria are mycoplasma, which are the smallest living things, uh, living cells. Uh, these are the smallest living cells and they are anaerobic and they are pathogenic in nature. These mycoplasmas lack the cell wall. Okay, so this is a summary. What we have learned from the topic Kingdom Monera, let us try to answer the questions from our PYQs. So, see the first question. What is true for cyanobacteria? Now, see the options. First one is oxygenic with nitrogenase. B, oxygenic without nitrogenase. C, non-oxygenic with nitrogenase. D, non-oxygenic without nitrogenase. So, we know cyanobacteria are eubacteria and they are uh, some are photosynthetic in nature. They uh, fix the atmospheric nitrogen in the presence of the oxygen with the help of the enzyme which is called as nitrogenase. So, cyanobacteria are oxygenic with nitrogenase. So, the correct option is A. Let us see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, here the explanation is also given. So, these cyanobacteria are photosynthetic in nature and they are able to uh, uh, perform oxygenic photosynthesis. So, where they will be able to prepare the food material and the oxygen will be the byproduct. Okay. And uh, in the presence of the oxygen, even they are able to uh, uh, convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia, which is used by the other plants as well as animals with the help of the enzyme nitrogenase. So, the correct option is A. So, they are oxygen. What is true for archaebacteria? All are halophiles, all are all perform photosynthesis, all are fossils. They are the oldest living things. So, among the four options, all the archaebacteria are not halophiles. So, first option is wrong. And all the archaebacteria will not perform photosynthesis. So, B is also wrong. All the archaebacteria are fossils, but they are living fossils. They are not dead. Means they are not true fossils. So, they are the oldest living things. So, this is correct. Let us see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. Now, let us see the next question. Difference between the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria is due to the cell wall, cell membrane, 
ribosome cytoplasm so actually we will differentiate gram positive and gram negative bacteria by staining so in the case of gram positive bacteria the stain which uh, means uh, we, we, how we will be differentiating is gram positive bacteria will be purple in color and gram negative bacteria will be pink in color so uh, because of the staining we will be differentiating and that staining it is because of the difference in the composition of the cell wall so let us see whether our option is correct or wrong yeah it is correct why because in the cell wall in the case of the gram positive bacteria they will be having the both the horizontal as well as uh, vertical peptide linkages whereas in the case of the gram negative bacteria only horizontal peptide linkages will be present so the uh, when we add alcohol the stain will be removed in the case of the gram negative bacteria so only they will be staining with safranin so it will be appearing pink in color whereas in the case of the gram negative bacteria the stain which is uh, uh, means uh, that crystal violet which we are adding will be will be um, accumulated inside only it will not be washed away because of the formation of uh, um, linkages so uh, the stain which is added will not be coming out and even the ticoic acid is also present in the case of the gram positive bacteria which is not seen in the case of gram negative bacteria now let us see the next question which statement is correct for the bacterial transduction transfer of some genes from one bacteria to another through virus transfer of genes from one bacteria to another bacteria by conjugation bacteria obtained its dna directly from the mother cell bacteria obtained dna from the external source actually transduction means transfer of genes from one bacteria to another bacteria through virus okay so this is correct let us see it is correct or wrong yeah it is correct so transduction the genetic material is transferred from one bacterial to the another bacterial through bacteriophages now let us proceed to the next question the growth curve of the bacterial population in the lab is plotted against the time what will the what will be the shape of the graph actually when it is plotted it is a straight line so it is like hyperbolic in nature so let us see whether our option is correct or wrong yeah it is correct now let us see the next question some bacteria are able to grow in streptomycin containing medium it is due to natural selection induced mutation reproductive isolation genetic drift actually when the bacteria will be able to grow in streptomycin means antibiotic containing medium when they are resistant they become resistant to that antibiotic how they become resistant because of some mutation so uh, in that mutation which is uh, present in that bacteria will be selected by the nature then only such type of the bacteria will be able to survive and so the correct answer according to this is natural selection means according to the natural selection the bacteria becomes antibiotic resistant so they will be able to survive in the streptomycin containing medium so let us check whether our option is correct or wrong yeah it is correct because of the evolution so now let us see the next question in bacteria the plasmid is extra chromosomal material the main dna non-functional dna and repetitive gene so plasmids are extra chromosomal materials present in the bacteria so it is correct so ba bacteria contain uh, small uh, dna but uh, the, uh, the dna will be they are extra chromosomal materials so those materials which are uh, present in the bacteria we call them as plasmids okay now let us see the next question choose the correct sequence of the stages of the growth curve of bacteria lag log stationary and decline lag log decline stationary stationary lag log decline decline lag log phase and stationary so when we see the growth curve of the bacteria it contains four phases lag log stationary phase and decline phase so the correct option is a let us see whether our option is correct or wrong yeah it is correct so when we see the growth curve it is sigmoid and this sigmoid curve contains four phases that is a lag phase then log which is a which is a period of accelerated growth then becomes the growth phase becomes stationary then growth declines we call it as decline phase so it is lag log stationary and decline so now let us see the next question 
chromosome in a bacterial cell can be 1 to 2, 3 in number and they are always circular, they are always linear, can be either circular or linear within the same cell or can be circular as well as linear within the same cell. So, actually the bacteria contain the chromosomes which are always circular. Yeah, it is correct. Now, let us see the next question. In which kingdom would you classify the archaea and the nitrogen fixing organisms in the five kingdom classification? We have seen um, during our discussion that archaea bacteria as well as nitrogen fixing bacteria belong to the kingdom monera. Let us see the options here. Plant A, B is fungi, C is protista, D is monera. So, they have given the kingdom monera. So, kingdom monera is correct. Yeah, it is correct. So, now let us see the next question. During the replication of a bacterial chromosomal DNA synthesis starts from a replication origin site and RNA primers are involved, is facilitated by the telomerase, moves in one direction of the site, move in a bidirectional way. Actually, during the replication of the DNA synthesis, it uh, occurs in a bidirectional way. One strand moves uh, one side and the other strand moves in the opposite direction. So, it is a bidirectional way. So, let us answer this. Yeah, it is a bidirectional way. RNA primers are also involved, but later they will be replaced and telomerase will not be present. So, uh, it is not, uh, means it is not uh, in one direction. So, the correct option is moves in a bidirectional way. Now, let us see the next question. All the following statements concerning the Actiomyces filamentous soil bacteria, Frankia, are correct except that Frankia can induce root nodules on many plant species, B, can fix nitrogen in the free living state, C, cannot fix specialized vesicles in which nitrogenase is protected from oxygen by a chemical barrier involving tritipine haponoids, D, like rhizobium, it usually infects its host plant through root hair deformation and stimulates the cell profilation in host cortex. So, among these four, which one is wrong? So, the correct option is B. Can fix the nitrogen in the free living state. No, it can't fix the nitrogen in the free living state. So, our correct option is B. Let us check whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. Frankia is a nitrogen fixing mycelium. Okay mycelial bacterium which is not free living and is always associated symbiotically with root nodules. So, all the other it is induced means it is present in the root nodules and uh, means it is associated with the uh, root nodules and even it uh, helps in the fixation of the uh, nitrogen even in the host plant and it uh, stimulates the cell proliferation in the host cortex. So, all these are correct. Only the B option is wrong. Why? Because it can't fix a freely, fix the nitrogen freely. Now, let us see the next question. For retting of jute, the fermenting microbe use these. So, A is methanophilic bacteria. B is butyric acid bacteria, C is helicobacter pylori, D is a streptococcus lactin. So, actually, for the rating of jute fermenting bacteria is butyric acid bacteria. So, it is correct. Now, let us see the next question. Basophilic prokaryotes grow and multiply in very deep marine sediments occur in water containing high concentration of barium hydroxide C. Readily grow and divide in sea water and enriched in any soluble salt of barium D. Grow slowly in highly alkaline frozen lakes at high altitudes. Actually, these are prokaryotes which are basophilic, they actually multiply in deep marine sediments. Okay, so I think this is correct. Let us see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, basophilic prokaryotes, they are facultative anaerobic bacteria. So, they grow and multiply in the deep marine sediments, okay. Mostly basophiles means they will be growing at the pH 8.5 or higher. Now, let us see the next question. Which of the following statements about mycoplasma is wrong? Okay, they are pleomorphic, they are sensitive to penicillin, they cause diseases in plants, 
they are also called as PPLO. So they are pleomorphic, it is correct. They are uh, called as PPLO, it is also correct. They cause disease in plants, yes, it is also correct. They are sensitive to penicillin, it is wrong. So mycoplasma are the prokaryotic organism, they are pleomorphic. They are also called as pleuronemonia like organisms, yeah. So what? Uh, PPLO, they lack the cell wall. It contains cytoplasm, ribosomes as well as DNA, okay. They are inhibited by the tetracycline. Okay, but insensitive to penicillin. So, our option B is correct. Now, see the next question. Bacterial leaf blight of the rice is caused by Alternaria, Ervinia, Xanthomonas, Pseudomonas. So, what is the correct option? It is Xanthomonas. Let us see it is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, xanthomonas is the organism which causes bacterial leaf blight of rice. Okay. So, matured rice, when it is infected by with this bacterium, it causes a, a small stripes or lesion. Later, it sp uh, spreads to the leaf blades and eventually increases and causes full gray in color. It means it becomes gray in color. Uh, at last, what happens? The leaf dries up. Now, let us proceed to the next question. So, see the 17th question. Thermococcus, methanococcus and methanobacterium exemplify bacteria whose DNA is relaxed or positively supercoiled but which have a cytoskeleton as well as mitochondria. B. Bacteria that contain a cytoskeleton and ribosomes. C. Archaebacteria that contain protein homologous to that of the eukaryotic core histones. D. Archaebacteria that lack any histones resembling those found in the eukaryotes but those DNA is negatively supercoiled. So, actually, this dermococcus, methanococcus and methanobacterium are a type of active bacteria that contain the protein which is homologous to that of the eukaryotic core histones. Okay. So, let us see whether our option is correct. Yeah, it is correct. The same explanation is also given. So, now let us see the next question. In light of the recent classification of the living organisms into three domains, that is, bacteria, archaebacteria, and eukaryotes, which statements is true about archaebacteria? Archaebacteria completely differ from both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. B. Archaebacteria completely differ from prokaryotes. C. Archaebacteria resemble eukaryotes in, in all the respects. Aspects D. Archaebacteria have some novel features that are absent in other prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So it seems it is appearing that D option is correct. Let us answer this and see. Yeah, it is correct. A domain of prokaryotic organisms containing archaebacteria, which includes methanogens that produces methane and even thermoacidophilic bacteria. So, they contain, means they have some features which are absent in the prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes. So, the, our option is correct. Now, let us see the next question. Which of the following is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer? fixer? So, Agitobacter, Frankia, Azola, Glomus. So, symbiotic means it is in relationship with the other organism. So, our correct option is Frankia. Let us see. Yeah, Frankia is a symbiotic nitrogen fixer in the root nodules of the non-leguminous plants like uh, Cosrinia and Alnus. Now, let us see our next question. One of the free living anaerobic nitrogen fixer is Bajernikia, Rhodospirillum, Rhodospirillum, then Rhizobium and Agitobacter. So, Rhodospirillum is an anaerobic bacteria which is free living and is helpful in the nitrogen fixation. Yeah, it is correct. So, see the second question. 